Let's start with my Hermes Bright uh, Black pouch in the small size. There's also a larger size which is bigger than this one and I definitely prefer this size way more. If you are looking for the most affordable Hermes bag right now, this one is the perfect one because the small one is currently retail for $710. It has the embroidered H logo in the front with the matching woven orange handle. There are also many different color combos available in this style. I have a dedicated unboxing video to go into all the details about this bag. I also have another multiple ways to wear this bag video to show you how you can wear this bag in so many different ways. I'll link them down below for you to check it out after this video. It is a very versatile little bag that can go with many casual outfits, dress up to go out for dinner too. It can also hold a lot of stuff in there as well. Leave me a comment to let me know if you would still like a dedicated review video on this one. The next one is my Hermes in the Lou Bell bag in the Swift leather palladium plated hardware in the gold color. I love the super cute Ching Di Encore shape so much. It is such a understated Hermes bag that many people don't know about it. I got this bag in 2022 as a souvenir bag from Paris which I cherish a lot. It is one of my most used bags ever since I got it. The bag is so versatile, allow me to be hands-free. There are many different ways you can wear this bag like crossbody, shoulder bag, belt bag. The shoulder strap here is detachable too. The bag is really really good size because it can fit my iPhone 13 Pro Max and all my other daily essentials can fit in there too. It's definitely way more than enough. The in the loop bell bag is currently retail for $4,175. Personally, I think it's been a great buy for me. I know some of you asked about the review video of this and I'll definitely work on my review video. The next one is actually my very very first Hermes bag and it is my Her Bag 31. The top is in the indigo blue color and the hunter leather and the bottom is in the canvas material. It's in the Ito color and you can see the side of stitching here so it is in the salier style how the side looks and the back has a pocket for you to easily grab stuff to take it in and out. It's really good to have a pocket like this because you know the way it opens is like you have to take both strap out and then you lift up the flap and take this thing out too to take stuff out. It also has a matching pouch inside that you can store stuff in there. It is one of the entry level Hermes bag as you can see that it has a very similar look as Hermes Kelly other than it's in the canvas material. The price is much more cheaper than a Kelly. It's also way easier to get than a Kelly bag. The canvas material is just more casual and young compared to Leather Kelly. I already have a detailed review video on this bag. I'll link it down below for you to check it out after this video. The Her Bag 31 is currently retail for $3,050. I would say I still like this bag a lot. The next Hermes bag is my beloved Hermes Constance in the black color, absent leather, and rose gold hardware. A bell loop in the back. It is a wallet. I mainly use it as a bag with the extra strap that I have purchased. So I just insert the strap that I got here. It's available in different colors that you can definitely find a matching one for your color. If you're interested, I'll leave the link down below for you to check it out and you can see this way I can wear it as a crossbody bag. I have a dedicated video on 11 different ways how you can wear this little wallet as a handbag. I'll link the video down below so you can check it out after this video. This is a little souvenir that I brought back from Paris with me. At the beginning I thought black is not my color but I did fall in love with this little bag more and more over time and I got a lot of good use out of it. And I'm definitely really happy with this purchase. If you want to get an absent leather constant slim, it's currently retail for $3,100. The next bag is my Hermes Constant Slim in a gold color and a gold hardware. But the leather is not absent leather. The leather is in the Avacolor leather. I got it was also because I really wanted to try a different leather. And the Avacolor is definitely on my list. Now that 
I have collected a definitely decent amount of Hermes leather already. Let me know if you would like our Hermes leather guide video so that I can show you how different leather looks and I can compare them. This basically is exactly the same bag as my Black Constant Slim other than the specs are different and it can also be worn in so many different ways as well. I know a lot of you asked for the review video. Definitely stay tuned for that review video. Let me know which one do you prefer the black one or the gold one? The slim in the Ava color is currently retail for $3,150, which is $50 more than the Epson leather one. The next bag is my vintage Hermes Constance 23 in the blonde color and the gold hardware and the leather is evergreen. I really like the evergreen leather because it's lightweight. Some of the scratches and you can also buff it out too. Inside the bag has one compartment and a pocket more like the new mirror Constance and the bag has a pocket for easy access. This bag is over 40 years old already and it still looks so good it's because I have sent it to the Hermes bar and if you are interested I have three Hermes bar video I'll link it down below for you to check it out after this video so you can see the difference how the before and after look like. I definitely have a lot of good memory with this bag and I have to admit Constance is one of my favorite type of Hermes bags. Right now if you were to get a Hermes Constance 23 you can spend about a couple thousand dollars depends on the condition of the bag and regarding Hermes Constance 24's price I'll share it with you in my next bag. The next one is my Hermes Constance 24 in the Epson leather gold hardware. The color is Gris Bouet. Inside is in the Rouge Grenade. It has two colors. It's because it's a special order Constance and you can see the horseshoe stamp here which means it's a special order bag. Inside it has two compartments and some pockets and the back doesn't have any extra pocket or anything and you can see the side. Probably see me wear this bag a lot. It is definitely one of my most used bags. I just love the look of the bag and the, the capacity. The bag is also so easy to transition from day to night, from casual look to dressy look. It can be worn in so many different occasions. Since I already have a dedicated review video on this and I'll link that dedicated review video for you down below for you to check it out after this video. The Constance 24 in the Epson leather is currently retail for $10,800. I feel I'm so lucky and I'm so grateful to have this bag. I'm definitely cherishing and I'm gonna continue to enjoy this bag. The next one is my Hermes Cali de Pichis in the Ito color, palladium plated hardware, the Togo leather. I have a dedicated review video to go into all details about this bag. So I'll link the video down below for you to check it out after this video. The bag is in the Cali family. As you can see, it has the Cali buckle and this is how you open up the bag. It has different compartments and another one and the back doesn't have anything. It is a bag from Hermes's men's department. Nice thing about it is that it doesn't count as a quota bag so you don't have to worry about not able to get this bag. I really got a lot of use out of this bag ever since I got this shoulder strap and I'll link it down below. My favorite way of wearing it is wearing it as a shoulder bag. On the days I don't feel like carrying a Birkin or Kelly, this is one of my best and favorite alternatives. The bag is currently retail for $9,000 which is really expensive. If you are debating if you should be getting this bag or not, I highly recommend to check out my review video and then decide. The next bag is my Hermes Cali 28 in the pajama color in the gold hardware box leather. It's a vintage Hermes Cali. Take a closer look. You can actually see some of the scratches some wear on the bag too. I got so much wear out of this bag ever since I got it. It is on the light color side but I really don't baby this bag. I feel it's already so used. I didn't really care about it. And overall after so many years I still think it's one of the best purchases that I have made just because 
how often I wear it, how I still love it so much after so many years. Same way as how you open any of the Kelly bag and you can open it up like this. You can see the shoulder strap in there, the side, how the back looks like. Kelly 28 in the Epsom leather is currently retail for $12,500 from the boutique and usually box leather is more expensive than the Epsom leather. So if you are to get a box from the boutique directly, it will be more expensive than that. I'm going to continue to enjoy and cherish this bag. The next Hermes bag is my Hermes Cali 25 in the gold color and the gold hardware and the Epsom leather. And you can see the stitching on the side and the bag is in the Salier style. And you know that between the return and a Salier for a Cali. And I think after so many years, and I still prefer the Salier style over the return style. And I have a dedicated review video to go into all details about this bag and I will link it down below for you. I also have a comparison video for Cali 25 and a Cali 28. I'll link it down below for you as well. And this is basically how you open it. And you can see how the inside looks like. This is the back. I brought it to parks, lunch, dinners, so many different occasions. Even the French laundry dinner, I brought it with me too. So I definitely have a lot of good memory with this bag. So I a Sally A style of Cali 25 in the Epsom leather is currently retail for $11,800 in the boutique. I got this bag after Stanley was born. So she's just like a Stanley's younger sister to me. And Stanley turns four this year and this bag is turning four too. Seeing this bag just reminded me how lucky I am every single time. Next is my Hermes Birkin 30 in the Ito color, the Togo leather, and the gold hardware that I got it from Paris with Hubby together. And if you watched that video, you would know I would not be able to get this bag if Hubby wasn't there with me. I think our personalities are so different. We do complement each other so well. So together, we definitely make a great team. That's why this Birkin 30 is so special to me and it's always associated with the fun memories in Paris. And this is how the inside looks like, has the pockets. I already have a dedicated review video on this bag and I will link it down below for you to check it out after this video. I love the color style aesthetic of this bag after owning it for many, many years and I still cherish and think it's a really beautiful bag. It's definitely a forever piece and the only thing I would say is the bag can get really heavy if you put up more stuff in there. A Birkin 30 in the Togo leather is currently retail for $12,500. The next Hermes bag is my dream came true Hermes Birkin 25 in the Cray color rose gold hardware Togo leather that I have been waiting for a really, really long time. Then I finally got it from the boutique in 2023. I'm still so happy, so excited, and it's still so amazed about the beauty of it after owning it for a couple months. I have to say, Cray is just such a beautiful color. Every time when I carry it out, I get so many compliments on this bag and people asking me about it inside and it's a uh, size 25 but to be honest this is really enough for all the daily essentials that you need this bag goes with every single outfit that i have in my closet i'll definitely do a review video after i use it for a little bit longer our birkin 25 in the togo leather is currently retail for eleven thousand four hundred dollars in the boutique right now leave me a comment to let me know your favorite hermes bag or your wishlist hermes bag don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye bye